There are a lot of holsters on the market right now, and I just want to go over one of them. This is an outside the waistband setup that I have for a Glock 17 Gen 4 with a Streamlight TLR1 HL. So this is from Bravo Concealment. This was sent to me to uh, review. No money exchanged hands or anything like that, but they did send me the product to check out. So I'm going to do just that. So this is a basic outside the waistband. This is a holster, and then I have a double mag carrier right here, and I'll kind of go over both. So this is a Gen 4 Glock 17, again, Taylor 1 HL Streamlight. And just to show you the holster here, it's a basic outside the waistband setup. So to start off with, the belt loops, pretty solid, pretty heavy duty. I like it. Uh, pretty much on par with most holster makers out there. Nothing really special in regards to that, but very well made. The machine work and everything's really well done. The screws are pretty well made as well. It looks like they're going to stay tight. Uh, one thing you can do if you want is you can put a little bit of thread locker in there. That's what I usually do with a lot of my products is I throw thread locker in there just to make sure they don't wiggle loose over time. Uh, this does retain on the light itself, not so much the pistol. So uh, you can use it for a Glock 17 or a Glock 19. Um, just note that this is made for the TLR1 HL. They do have different light models. If you look have a different light, just make sure to look on their site. This one right here, the retention is right here as far as how much or how little retention you want. So you can slide this up and down, tighten it up, and that'll adjust your retention right there. Uh, with that said, this right here, there is no secondary retention. This is pretty much just a friction lock right there. You just throw your handgun in, it stays in there, uh, locked into the molds, but there is no secondary straps or buttons or anything like that. So if you are going to open carry with the setup, you need to be very, very careful on the retention of your gun. There are plenty of surveillance video of people carrying open carry and their gun is snatched from them. That is a real thing. Uh, you don't want to have your fancy Glock 17 with your fancy light and all your Gucci gear snatched away from you and used on you or somebody else. So if you're going to carry this open carry, you need to be cognizant of that. Make sure you're paying attention to your whereabouts. You have proper training and combatives, all that good stuff to be able to responsibly do this. Uh, with that said, can you conceal this? Yes, you can. Open carry, you, or, or excuse me, uh, outside the weight, waistband, yes, you can conceal this. Uh, it just depends on your body type and what type of outer garments you're wearing. So overall, it keeps things nice and tight to the body. Uh, not too tight, though. You can still access everything. You can still get a good uh, draw on it. And again, you can adjust your uh, retention as needed. It does have holes so you can adjust your, if you have different types of uh, belt loops or whatnot, or if you want to run 550 core, whatever you want to do, you can do so. So that's the holster itself. This is the mag carrier. This is a double mag carrier. It's for larger size mags. So this fits like HK Glock, typical double stack. And it does have adjustable retentions right here. So you can take these, loosen them or whatnot, fit them more to your individual mags. These, I have the mags set up kind of tight on here. Um, and I can just, if I wanted to loosen it up a little bit, but I do kind of like having tight, tighter magazine uh, retention, especially when it's an open top design like this. So again, the design is very well done. The rivets are good. The screws are, do, are good. Uh, the belt loops, just like on this one, they're well done, nice and thick. And it looks like it does have a little bit of adjustment that you could do with it if you wanted. Um, as far as the types of mags, again, the larger double stack, it should fit most of them. Uh, if it's Glocks, uh, the HKs and whatnot that I have in my inventory, uh, CZ, all that stuff, it seems to fit pretty good. The The retention is just going to vary depending on the magazine and of course you can adjust it uh, with it being an open top magazine this creates another retention issue that a lot of people don't think about maybe i should make a different video on this but just to go over real quick uh there's one trend in law enforcement and law enforcement likes to wear open top mags and for good reason it's for real easy intuitive access to the magazines if you need to be using your gun uh, if you get into a gunfight, it's perfect. Makes for really fast mag changes. But the problem is when you go hands-on with somebody, there is a chance that the open top magazine could come flying out. If you're grappling with somebody, if you're on the ground, if you're doing your fancy Brazilian jiu-jitsu on somebody, 
Uh, it's not uncommon to have these fly out, and then you gotta go, crap, where's my magazine and whatnot? Uh, you know, after everything's said and done. So, uh, with that said, if you choose to carry open top, just know that. Just know that, okay, you know, if you're gonna defend yourself, because not all fights are gunfights, just remember that. Uh, you don't need to be whipping your gun out every single time. Uh, if you get into any type of altercation while you're wearing these, uh, and it turns into a wrestling affair, which things usually do, uh, just note that there could be a possibility you'll lose a mag. That's just the nature of the beast. It's not so much Bravo concealment, it's the nature of the beast. But these mag carriers are very well made. Um, can I use this in competition? Yeah, sure. I guess depending on the competition rules, sure. They're solid enough mag, uh, mag holder here and a solid enough holster. Yeah, I think it'll work great. So in any case, this is a very solid setup. I do dig it. I like it. Uh, it's not overly expensive. Uh, if you go on our website, it just depends on uh, what exactly you want to get because there's different configurations. You can get single, double. You can get different sizes, different lights, no lights, all that stuff. So everything kind of changes. But I think for your money, you're getting a good product. Uh, I haven't seen any issues. There's been some brands out there that I looked at and were like, okay, yeah, they were good at first. And I could see some of the issues that would happen, but Bravo Concealment seems to do a pretty good job. They have had a decent track record, and I've looked online as far as their, you know, overall reviews of Bravo Concealment. I haven't, I've seen some negatives, not all negatives. I've seen a lot of positives too, which that's a good thing. Uh, just know that, you know, really look at what you're looking to do before you go out and get a holster and magazine carrier and all that stuff. Make sure you look at the product and see the pluses and minuses. The pluses on this product right here, awesome, you know, awesome machine work, awesome, you know, they're, they're, for what it is, it's good retention. It's very well made. It's a good product, but that retention only goes so far just due to the design. So make sure to know if you're wanting some hardcore holster for self-defense, duty use, something like that, maybe look at something that has a secondary retention on it, not specifically this model right here. All right, as always, thanks a lot for watching, and leave your comments in the section below, whether they're good or bad on this product. I don't censor. I don't do any of that. If you had good with this product, awesome. If you had bad with this product, make sure to let everybody know so that way people can make an honest decision. So all right, as always, stay safe and talk to you again soon.